I did promise the video at 8 o'clock, so hopefully, you know, there'll be a few people watching by now. Um, you might want to start by wondering why I started my uh, video wearing a hood. Um, well, there's a perfectly good reason for that, and that is because this is a very, very good hood. This is £9.95 from Anchor Supplies. Thinsulate. Full long neck Thinsulate. I don't know if you can see that there. Shower proof hood. Warm fleece lining. Weighs no more than a couple of grams. Okay? So we're going to talk about that. And I'm going to show you how to wash um, the washing 120 gigahertz Aegis washing compound into um, your garments and the sizes that you need. This is the stuff we're talking about, Aegis. Um, this will shield out Wi-Fi radiation, cell, cell phone or cell phone tower radiation, smart meter radiation, and most importantly, up to 120 gigahertz, it will shield out 5G um, radiation. Now, uh, we'll talk a little bit about 5G beforehand because I'm no expert, but I have done my research. And um, 5G starts at 60 gigahertz and um, will go, can go up to three, and is set to go up to 300 gigahertz, but can be expanded even further past there to 600 gigahertz. Um, it depends on how long it takes to fill up the, the bandwidth and use up all the frequencies. Um, but the, the problem we, we're facing is that uh, 60 gigahertz is way above anything that our bodies um, really are, are used to. And there's been a lot of um, talk, especially up in uh, Gateshead, um, up that way with Mark Steele, of the dangers and people getting sick. So I thought I would bring this to your attention and show you exactly what it is that this stuff does. Um, now, this hood is classed as a small garment, yeah? And um, everyone will probably remember this. This is my Met Peace cap. Now, this is made of Gore-Tex. It's waterproof. But on the inside is fabric. And it even pops down over your ears. Yeah, you see? So, if you were to wash some of this compound, and the exact measure, you know, is for a small garment like this, or this, half a teaspoon full. Half a teaspoon. But if you put them together, me, I'd be careful and just put in a full teaspoon full. And when I say teaspoon, I mean level teaspoon, yeah? Um, and what you do is you fill your sink. Okay, now I'm just gonna bring this camera down and you won't see my ugly mug anymore. Hopefully you'll be able to see the sink. A little bit further. There you go. And I've put in what I would consider is enough water to saturate both of these items. Now, one thing Aegis have said, and it's on the instructions, in capital letters, so you may as well take it as read that you need to do this, um, I will be trying to respond to the comments as they come up, um, is that your garment must be soaked in the water, saturated is the word they use, in the water before you start, okay? So that's exactly what I'm going to do now, by putting it in the water and squeezing water in and out, yeah? Now, that to me is saturated. So I'm going to pop it in a little more water. And then I'm going to add a level teaspoon of the Aegis powder. Okay. There's a level teaspoon. In it goes. I don't know if you can see it in the bottom there. But it's basically baking powder, baking soda. Now, it's not actually just baking soda, obviously. No one's going to flog you just baking soda. Um, because the compound, um, it attaches itself to something uh, as, a, as a vehicle. A good example would be people that put cannabis with coconut oil
um, a few people. So I'm going to give that a quick stir around and get it moving. Yeah. So the, the baking powder has now dissolved. I don't know if you can see that. Um, the baking powder has now dissolved. And what I'm going to do is put the garment back in. Get it under the water. Squeezing the water that's in the sink into the garment. Yeah. Now, bearing in mind that that's only half a teaspoon, yeah, and you need 46 grams to do an entire eight kilo wash in in the um, in the washing machine. 46 grams that you'd put in with the rinse cycle if you were doing it in a washing machine I really I'm a typical male. I can't I can't get the rinse to just do a rinse you know and I can't stop the bloody thing before trying to get the, the compound in because you put it in at the final rinse stage now I consider that that is thoroughly soaked now the reason I chose this garment is because it's a thin chalet long wide four or five inch wide neck part so when you've got it on your head even if you've got the hood down it protects the brain stem yeah and preferably you should have the hood up anyway you know but with the hood up it's a really really excellent guard um, for the entire head because what you find is the bottom of the thin chalet actually spreads out over your shoulders and ends up halfway down your soul uh, across your shoulders and and down your back and front so you you're completely protecting the stem cell area of your brain with the hood up um, you, you literally you can draw the drawstrings and all you're left with is eyeballs so there you go that is now what I do is I squeeze out quite a bit of the liquid and then go back in for one more if I got time and if the weather's good I would actually just take this as it is and hang it on the line to drip dry because what happens is the compound has left um, the bicarbonate of soda and is in the water and the water is now in the garment heavily as you can see it's very very soaked very soaked okay as the garment dries out the water evaporates but the compound stays within the fibers and I've been assured by Aegis that um, the, 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 the compound will only come out with washing with soap and water. In other words, another, another machine wash or if you use a fabric wash, um, a, a washing powder. In a light shower outside, that will stay um, resistant. And in fact, I chose this hood because it is shower proof. It is actually, it's not waterproof, but it's shower proof. So if you are out in the rain, it is raining a little bit on your, your hat. First thing you don't have to worry about is having to rewash the hoodie. But the second thing is, because this is shower proof, this stays dry. The, the fabric inside stays dry. And thus, you've still got full protection. So that in itself there, that is 100% now soaked with um, compound. And again, I'm going to show you with my Met Peace Cap. Because this is Gore-Tex, it's waterproof. You'd think you can't, but, but I've, I've been, again, I've, I've checked and I've been told that um, because there's a fabric on the inside, the waterproof lining, obviously, will keep that compound secure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw that one away because um, you'd think, like, why don't you throw it in and do it in the same wash? Well, I thought the same thing, but... Um, the problem you've got is you're supposed to put, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> you're supposed to put the um, garment you're going to wash in and it's got to be thoroughly saturated in normal water before you add it to this. So I've just filled up the sink again with what is enough to soak the hat but not over fill the, the sink. And the other reason for that is um, I still don't know um if you can add this compound in the um state that it comes in to a bath full of water 
and put in the same item, like the hat, I don't know if you can do that. In other words, water dilution. Uh, I, I've not yet had an answer back from Aegis about that. But um, so for, for my, all intents and purposes, I use the minimum amount of water that I need to do the job. Yeah, and then again, although this is waterproof, as you can see, the water is on uh, the the water is on there. Um, it's not soaking through, but it's on the outside. And because the water is going in on the inside, where the fabric will allow the water to go through, the fabric is effectively taking um, the the compound and putting it against the inside of the Gore-Tex um, in in the hat. So therefore, it should. In effect you know layer up nicely you've got some on the fabric some on the inside of the Gore-Tex some on the outside but rain will wash it away because it's waterproof so now I've got that completely saturated I'm going to do the same again and that is just take half a level teaspoon oh, let's have a little bit more half a level teaspoon it's not as easy to judge I have got a measure in uh, my friend's cupboard, stir it around, get it moving about, so it's all dissolved, yeah, and then place your hat back in. Now if you can imagine and, and squeeze in and out to get the the compound into the fabric, it's just like any kind of rinse and repeat, you know, you squeeze the liquid in, yeah, and because that liquid, uh, that compound has already dissolved in the liquid, you're really just giving it an opportunity to get into um, to get into your uh, garments and clothes. So just squeeze it out a little bit, maybe not a little bit, not too much, because you can. These I tend to hang on the radiator, and by the time I come down in the morning, they're as dry as a bone, you know, and the job gets done. So that's the, the, and that is two halves of one level teaspoon. So it's basically one level teaspoon of this compound. And let's face it, you're not really going to rewash your hat in the washing machine. Or if you do a woolly hat, there's another good example. I mean, I have woolly socks, woolly shoes, uh, woolly socks, woolly gloves um, that I've done, leather gloves as well that I've done. Uh, the fabric inside makes it, makes it work um, quite well. In fact, I'll show you some of those items in a minute. Um, so that is now two garments that are, that are washed and ready. Um, they will protect up to 120 gigahertz. And at the moment in this country, they're nowhere near that frequency yet because they haven't um, filled up the, the, the bandwidth. In fact, you know, they've, they've got test beds out there, but they, it will take a good couple of years to get past the 120 gigahertz mark unless they really, you know, ram in a load of different services in there. Um, but the next step, obviously, uh, on the models and pricing is the 360 gigahertz powder, um, which will literally protect. And I want to point out that this compound protects you from 5 hertz upwards. So anything above 5 hertz, because our body frequency and resonation works under 5 hertz. So it doesn't want to impede our own bodily communication. And believe it or not, you know, our bodily communication can come from frequency. Um, but everything above 5 hertz is covered. And it, this will take you all the way up to 120 gigahertz. It's not cheap. I will tell you that it's not cheap. It's a couple of hundred dollars or more. Just a, a, a tad over un, about $250 just for a pound in weight. And that's basically um, uh, 454 grams. So it's half a kilo. <laughs> you know, um, it's not a lot. But then again, as you can see, we haven't used a lot. So what I'm going to do again, and I don't know if you can see this, but look at the colour of the water. It's, you, you tend to see um, a change in the water. Um, now... I'm going to do one more ad hoc. As you can see, I've got a jumper on, and let me just pull this up for a minute. I've got a jumper on. The reason I bought this jumper is because it's got a lovely roll neck collar, yeah? And again, what that's doing is it's protecting your neck, protecting the, the stem of your brain. Um, so now I'm going to um, pop a little bit more water in the sink. I'm going to throw this in, because this does need another 
coat. But again, this, this is a lightweight, a very lightweight um, police fleece. In fact, if you look up Anchor Supplies on um, on Google in Nottingham, and, and it, it, these are a fiver, yeah? And if you wear them as a third layer, in other words, you might have a t-shirt on, then you might have um, uh, something else on a shirt on and then if you put this over the top it won't need washing as often as um as all your other garments you know it's not like you i wouldn't recommend you wash this into your underwear um because you're washing your underwear every night now what i've done here is i've put in a a little bit more water because this is a fleece and this fleece will soak up a lot of water and as we've as we've discussed it is imperative for this to work for the uh, for the garment to be absolutely saturated so i've put that in there for a minute and i'm just gonna see how much of the water it's actually soaked up already so whilst that's in there i'm just gonna go hang these up and squeeze pop them on the radiator <coughs> Um, washing line to um, dry on your own drip dry but because it's shy out there and damp and you know it's easier to put it on the radiator and it does absolutely it does the job just the same because as the water evaporates with the heat it leaves the compound behind right so here we go we now have a saturated a garment like this the full level teaspoon um, five gram well I've as far as I know, a teaspoon's five mil, and five mil's practically five grams. So um, that's how I've been, you know, working it. But I, as I say, I do have a measure. So here we go. This time, you take a, a level teaspoon now. Not as easy as it looks. Because you, you don't want to use too much. That's the trouble. You start to get a bit worried that you wasting it because it is very expensive so pop that in again give it a stir around maybe top up the water just a little bit there you go can't see the um, bicarb anymore put your garment back in plenty of soaking around just move it just as it as if you were you know I when i was a kid my, I had to go and stay with my gran and that and they used to do all their washing like this and then stick it through a wooden mangle and I'm, I'm more than used to washing my stuff in a sink. Um, and I don't, to be honest, at least this way, you know the job's getting done. The reason I don't trust the um, washing machine is I did try to do a washing machine load with a jacket I'm going to talk to you and show you in a minute. Talk to you about and show you. And this, it, did, it didn't work. My jacket came out covered in powder or bicarb. Um, so I stick to doing things by hand. And as you can see, there's another one done. Yeah. That now is completely Wi-Fi radiation protected. And that's my neck and that's the torso. So if you combine this jumper with my little hoodie and my hat, that's my entire upper body from 5G and so on. Um, the price I've, I've put on my Facebook wall the links to the three pages that you'd be interested in at ages one is the um washing compound which is here look under the price in the mods 120 gigahertz because it's it's 30 gigahertz the 30 gigahertz um washing compound was developed before the fire uh, before the 120 in that and the 120 in that come out because of 5g and as we as, I, as I, I think I've put a few videos up, if you haven't seen them before, but on my wall you'll, you'll see that the Pentagon crowd control system actually works at 90 gigahertz. So this garment would protect you from feeling like you were on fire when they point their little ray gun at you. Um, you would be protected. Um, that I consider quite a big motivation because, you know, what goes on in America always ends up coming over here as we all know okay so that's the um the actual wash in 
And um, now I'm going to give you an example of some, another great product that you can, uh, or a great garment that you can get your hands on dirt cheap. Again, Anchor Supply is £10. This is a waterproof, fleece lined, 2014 plod coat, police officer's jacket. It's a short crop, it's got loads of space inside, zip up pockets. But most of all, it's waterproof. But it has a fleece lining. So I washed mine in um, the compound. And it doesn't matter if I go out in the rain because this is waterproof. The fleece lining remains um, active so long as it's not washed again in soap and water. So who washes coats like this? Uh, well, once every six months, maybe. This coat is worth its weight in gold because... When it's on, when you're wearing it, there is no Wi-Fi radiation coming through you at all. And it weighs... ...800 grams. So, 800 grams, 43 grams is a 8 kilo load. You're looking at just under 5 grams of this compound to wash this and make your upper body torso um, Wi-Fi proof. Um, so yeah, I believe in this washing compound. The only drawback on, on the washing compound for me is that it washes out with soap and water. So the next time you wash your garment, it's gone. So you have to choose garments that you're not gonna wash very often. I mean, I'll give you this one quickly before I get on to the next stage. Um, if, you t if you've got a single bed, Go and buy two single sheets, um, the lightest ones you can find, almost down to lace. The lighter the better, because why? Because you're, you're washing by the gram. So a heavy sheet or a heavy blanket will weigh eight kilos on its own. Well, it is 46 grams. So if you get a lightweight sheet, uh, the size of your single bed, you wash them both in the compound, let them dry. You put one of those sheets between your bed a bed base and your mattress stretched out and you put the mattress on top then you put the other one inside your duvet along with your duvet inside your duvet cover corner to corner what you've done there immediately is give you all round nighttime protection yeah it's well apart from your head I mean and I personally I don't, I don't see <laughs> You know, unless you want to put a little canopy over your bed which I know one of my friends who's trying this product out has done um, but you are literally underneath a duvet right up to your neck and you're completely protected from all the router Wi-Fi, from your neighbour's Wi-Fi, if there's a smart meter next door. So this washing compound really works for me, except for the fact it washes out. But it, you'd have to fall into a river, I've been told, um, or get caught in a proper deluge of rain for it to wash out of your, um, of your garment. Um, in other words, you'd have to saturate your garment to get rid of it. Um, so, to me, items that you're not going to wash regularly. Um, a hoodie, a great idea. You know, I've got a friend who's, who has a, an autistic son who has um, problems bleeding from the ears and migraines and all manner of things. And since he's been wearing a hoodie, treated in this, it's all stopped. No more migraines, no more bleeding from the ears, no more bleeding from the nose. Very happy bunny. Um, I, that, to me, is you know says tons. But the paint, I want to talk about the paint because someone mentioned the other day that they were after um, some of the paint. Um, four fluid ounces of this paint and, and four ounces, um, of this paint will make a gallon and you need two coats of paint. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not a painter. So I'd, I'd have to ask Mick upstairs for um, advice on how, how, how much paint a gallon will do. Um, but the other really, really important thing, um, if you are going to paint a wall, so the idea of painting a wall is obviously if you have a cell tower or a smart meter aerial directly across from you somewhere and you can see it, that wall, that particular wall is going to get bombarded. So you paint the wall. Um, but there is also a clear spray liquid that again is only four fluid ounces, but quite expensive um, that you can spray on your windows, a couple of sprays wipe it in and let it dry and that will again shield your windows so it'll stop it coming through the windows really i, I think the three products combined um 
can put your peace, uh, give you peace of mind and, and put, put your mind to rest. Um, that it's an intelligent thing because if a router is communicating with it will allow that product through, uh, that um, signal through, to communicate with your phone. And someone said, well, what's the point then? Because it can get to your body. Well, first of all, I'd say I wouldn't have a phone inside my, uh, any kind of body shielding that I had. But then I thought about it, and I thought about a pocket. If you have a phone in your pocket with the back facing outwards, because I've also found that majority of Wi-Fi signals uh, or radiation signals come into the back of your phone. Um, so now I keep my phone in my pocket with the back facing outwards at all times. I mean, it's just a common sense thing. Once you know, you should do it. But if you put your phone in your pocket and you've washed your trousers in this, you've it, the, the compound will allow the product through, uh, will allow the signal through the outer laying of your pocket into the phone. But because you've washed your trousers, the inside of your pocket, which is closer to your skin, protects your body because it won't allow that signal through because our bodies aren't communicating with that uh, signal on that frequency. Um, if they were, then it would allow it through. But because we resonate at five hertz or under, um, we, our body, it, it reflects that away from us. It will only allow a signal through to um, reach a device that it's already connected to. Which is why I wanted to address it, because one of the people that invested in some of this um, asked me, well, why can't I wash a, a sheet and just hang it around my smart meter? Well, the answer is in what I've just said, because if the smart meter is, or, or the router or both is talking to something outside of that, on the other side of that fabric, then it will send, the signal will be allowed to pass through. So really, you need to keep the shielding project, uh, product as close to your body as possible. Um, I'd say within three layers, as you can see earlier, I have my, um, my jumper on, and that's now just had another fresh wash. The hat's had a fresh wash. And um, why, why the, the, the other thing about clear spray, there you go, couple of drops on there, give it a wipe, that's your eyes protected. You know, um, there's a lot more to this 5G than meets the eye. It is a weaponized um, uh, product and you only have to look at the way they use 5G at the Pentagon uh, for crowd control. It, it literally burns your skin. It makes you feel your skin's on fire. And that's because the millimeter waves that we're talking about, um, not microwaves, millimeter waves, it's more, um, they, um, they agitate the molecules just under your skin and it makes you feel like you're on fire. Um, and and that's, that to me is a problem. So, yeah, that's about all from me. If you do want a little bit of this, I've worked out that, you know, with 50 grams and you use it wisely, you can, you can fix this. Um, if you want to go direct to Aegis, I've put all the links on my Facebook wall so you can have a look. And it takes you to each page for each product. Look under models and prices. Look under user instructions. Look on, in fact, have a good read of this um, because we found out that although it's um, relatively expensive anyway it's actually quite expensive to get to shipped here into the UK it cost us $55 on top of the product uh, for shipping then it cost us uh, 60 something 66 pounds or 62 pounds um, for import duty on two pounds of the product um, and then Royal Mail charged us a eight pound handling fee for looking at the parcel although i still can't figure out why i've had to pay shipping and a handling fee um and then the credit card slammed me for a tenner as well because it's an overseas transaction so all in all it cost us just shy of 400 quid to buy two pounds um and uh the, with the four 400 quid if you what we did was we put co-ops of little four little co-ops of people together. So there's four people working, each put in a one -er. Everyone ended up with 225 grams of this product. Now, 225 grams, that's um, four double loads or more, four or five double, double loads um, on a washing machine. And if used wisely, this product will last you. 
um, once you've once you've started doing your clothes and, and you feel and, and your bedwear and you're feeling the benefits of it, um, you should really consider looking at the paint and the clear spray. I mean, obviously, there's no point in putting a clear spray on the windows on the outside because the rain will wash it off. But if you put it on the inside and you, and you know that it doesn't get condensated up or anything like that. I'm pretty sure it'll, it'll stay off. If you have any questions about this product, put them to me on Facebook and I will be contacting Aegis with any of them so we can, you know, can have a look and see. I mean, here's a great example of, um, if, I, if I want to go out, most people know that I spend most of my time in military clothing, um, but this product I treated in, um, in 120 gigahertz, it's a nice little going out top. You know, a little spangly one. I've, I've yet to wear it, but the good thing is, it has a hood. So again, if you're out and you still want to look chic, I mean, look at them sleeves. Look, quality. Um, got cheap in charity shop, <laughs> but um, you, you know, it, it gives you that hood cover um, for if you go outside. I mean, I'm a bit concerned because I'm curious about how much Wi-Fi radiation is bouncing around inside pubs or how much will be bouncing around inside pubs so yeah that's a great item to um to do now it does pay to do small pair of socks you know may as well protect the feet as well again another jumper that i did why did i do it because it has a polar neck or a turtle neck or call it what you will and again even with that folded over you're still looking at the back of your neck being protected the stem the, the brain stem and um, these all stay in uh, one bag in my in my bug out bag, and they're all they're all washed and not worn. Um, so another good example of what's smart to wash a balaclava. Yeah, because if if it gets to the stage where we are out there pushing back against the government and they roll out these. Um, uh, EMP EMF machines then you're going to find that uh, you're going to need something like a balaclava not just to not be recognised but to protect you from the Wi-Fi radiation ok I think about, I've covered just about everything um, again it, I, what I do is I wash um, I've washed a pair of trousers that in this weather I like to wear two pairs and the, uh, the ones that uh, I, I wear underneath but they get a wash every week. So if I go out, I am head to toe protected against Wi-Fi radiation. If I stay in, as long as I've got a hoodie on, or as you saw earlier, I had my um, cropped head covering on. So yeah, it all, it all comes together. This is the stuff you need, yeah? It's from Aegis Corporation. You can type in www.goagis g-o-a-e-g-i-s dot com and it will take you to their uh, their uh, their website read through the test results read through the instructions read through how it works read through what it does and um, I'm pretty sure that these products will be there um, to help you out if you want them and if you do just want a little small amount or you've got one garment or a couple of garments you want to do and you can't really afford to buy a, a, a bulk or, or get into a co-op of four drop me a pm and I, I can send you you know 46 grams or so for whatever the cost works out to probably about 30 quid you know um and 46 grams will do an eight kilogram washing load um which is a double load i think as far as i know or it will do eight um 46 grams will do well at least nine garments you know and that's nine big garments or loads of little garments and big garments so yeah there is um there is a reason to look at this product i'm very impressed with it i'm not making any money out of it i'm not a distributor for them and in fact to become a distributor you have to have a lot more technical knowledge than i've got which i'm working on at the moment but until i'm competent and confident i'm not going to go back and ask them for a dealership but if you do come through me, everything will be at cost. I'm not a value-added reseller, and this is not a subject that people should be making money out of. This is life-threatening shit. So with you, with that, I'm going to leave you to it. I hope you know how to mention this stuff. And um, if there are any questions, drop them in the comments or drop me a PM. Thanks for watching.